Welcome to this short introduction to using the University Library. My name is Susan Bell, and today I'll be your guide to finding your feet and hitting the ground running when it comes to library research. Most people probably imagine a university library as a large building full of books, and this is accurate to some extent. The UTAS Library does have branches on each campus, and these buildings house our physical collections, as well as providing computer labs, silent study zones, and collaborative workspaces. But a modern academic library is a little like an iceberg in that the volumes you can see on the shelves are only a small part of the whole thing. Many books and most journals are now available online, so a greater part of the library collection is accessed via the website rather than the shelves. Even the process of finding a book on the shelf begins here, so getting comfortable with the search tools on this page is a big step towards successful and stress-free assignment research. To find books and articles in the library, you'll need to know about four fundamental search tools. The main search box is Library Mega Search, and below that you'll see links to the catalogue, the databases, and the reading lists portal. Let's take a closer look at what each of these search tools does. The first tool I'd like to explore is the reading list portal. You'll find the link in one of the blue boxes below the main search box. The reading list portal can be a really quick and easy way to find the readings listed in your unit outline. You just type in your unit code. You'll probably see two options, one labelled list and one labelled unit. The list option is the one you want. Readings for each unit are usually divided into two sections. Books and ebooks will be listed in the text section and journal articles and individual book chapters in the readings section. Here's an example of a book that's available both as a print book and as an e-book. Print copies are available to borrow from the Cradle Coast, Inveresk and Morris Miller libraries, while the e-book can be accessed by clicking the View Online link. Articles under the Reading section are also accessed by clicking View Online. You can try using the Reading List portal for yourself by searching for one of the units you're enrolled in this semester. But don't panic if your unit doesn't show up yet. It could be that the library staff are still working on that list, or maybe your lecturer intends to link to the readings directly from Milo. The next tool I'd like to look at is the library catalogue, which indexes book titles and journal titles owned by the library. It's usually the best option to choose if you're looking for a book or an ebook, and you'll find the link directly under the main search box. For this example, I'm going to look for a book called How Writing Works, A Field Guide to Effective Writing by Rosalind Peterlin. In my experience, the most efficient way to search for a known title like this one is to use an author surname and a few keywords from the title. So in this case, I'll type Writing Works Peterlin. Notice that there are two different editions of this book and that it's available online and in print. Let's take a look at the catalogue record for the print copy that's on the library shelves. The location column tells you which UTAS libraries have a copy of the book. The call number is the number you need to look for on the shelf. And the status information tells you whether the book is available or on loan. To access the ebook version, click on the full text available from link. Next on our list of important search tools are the databases. These are used to find journal articles in different subject areas. You'll find the databases link directly under the main search box. There are nearly 400 different databases to choose from here. Some of them cover just one subject area, while others have a much wider scope. To find out which databases are recommended for your subject, click the All Subjects box at the top of the list and choose a subject area. This will give you a list of best bets recommendations for that subject, plus a list of further possibilities below. Sometimes though, the, the sheer variety of subject databases can be a bit overwhelming, so another option is to click the subject guides link at the top of the page and choose the guide for your subject area. This will tell you which databases are the best ones to start with. The final search tool to explore is Library Mega Search, the main search box on the library homepage. 
I've left it till last because it works by drawing information from all of these other tools we've just looked at. And it lets you search across the library's collection of books, databases and online journals with one search. This works extremely well for some topics, but not so well for others. That's why I wanted to make you aware of the alternative tools first, so that you know where you might look instead if Megasearch doesn't give you the results you need. For this example, let's say I'm interested in finding out about how chocolate affects cognitive function. I'll use the search terms chocolate and cognitive to begin my search. This has brought me around 2,000 results. And if I click the All Filters button, I get a menu on the right that shows me the filter options I could add to focus my search further. The At My Library filter is added by default, as this will make sure I only see things that the UTAS Library has full text access to either online or in print. For this search, I'll also add peer-reviewed to limit my search to scholarly peer-reviewed articles only, and I'll add a date limit so that I only see articles published in the last five years. Adding these filters has reduced my total number of search results considerably. If I want to do a slightly fancier search, using more search terms and combining them using AND and OR, I can click on the advanced search link. You can see here that I've added the term cognition, which is another word that has a similar meaning to cognitive. So my search is now for chocolate and cognitive or cognition. I also have the option to tell Megasearch where I want it to look for my search terms using the all fields drop down menu. This can be really useful if I want to search for a title or an author name. It's also really helpful if I want to focus my search by searching for words just in the abstract or in the subject headings. On the results screen, you can see that my new search has been run, but Megasearch has remembered the three filters I applied earlier. The View Details link will allow me to read the abstract and see more details about the article, while the Access Now link will show all of my options for accessing the full article. Now, if you're off campus or not logged into the university network, you'll be asked to authenticate with your UTAS username and password to access full text articles. Clicking on these three dots on the right of the screen will open the Tools menu. The Share function will allow me to email articles from my results list, and the Download function will show me the options for downloading articles. The cite function will give me an example of how to cite this article using a few different styles. But I urge you to be very, very careful with this because there's just no guarantee that the example will exactly match the style you've been told to use. And this is especially true with any style labelled as Harvard. So by all means, use this as a starting point for your referencing. But remember that it's your responsibility to check these examples against your recommended style guide to make sure that they're correct. If you use reference management software like EndNote or Zotero, the export citation function is where you'll find the links for those tools. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy using the University Library.